Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I want to do a uh, video here. It's midweek, it's Wednesday, early morning. I didn't get a chance to do any videos this weekend, so I thought I'd do a quick yard walk down in the lower yard here and uh, show you what's going on before I head in to get ready to go to work. So here's our, uh, our broccoli. Got a little cage over the top of these so the birds don't come in and tear them out. But they're, uh, they seem to be growing pretty well. And I'll put those in the garden probably in another you know, week or two. Sunflowers over here, they seem to be getting ready for their fall blooming. The ones that are actually going to bloom. You can see we've got a lot of tomatoes over here that we got to harvest this week. We did a bunch of harvesting this weekend, didn't do any videos because we had company over. But uh, you can see there's a lot of them that are ready to go coming up through the trellis. Now we'll over here, you can see the, uh, the beans are growing crazy up the uh, trees and trellises coming across over here. These are the Punakura cucumbers. You can see there's a lot of them that are starting to really come on now. So Paul is going to probably take some of these and put these in our, uh, our carry electric pressure canner and make a couple of pickles, jars of pickles with these this week as we get a few more. I think there's about nine of them on here right now. And here's our beans. They've grown quite a bit since last week. They're coming up the trellis. And we've got a lot of cucumbers we've been harvesting off of these, uh, our gherkins. And Paula's already got, I think, six uh, quart jars canned for pickles. So that's gonna be nice to have this winter. Plus, we've been getting a lot of them that we're just taking in them, taking them in my lunches and eating them fresh. I like this idea of having these trellises here. It's giving us a nice, uh, nice little area down in our lower yard where this used to all be lawn, and now it's just uh, clover and you know healthy food that we're growing. So I, I like that. Let's see what else we got. We've got the Asian pear. It's a uh, getting pretty good sized fruit now. I'm gonna have to thin out some of those smaller ones. I can see there's a couple clusters there that are gonna crowd. So I think I'll do that this weekend. We got another month and a half before those are gonna be ready. I might as well go around here. Let's see, strawberries patch is looking nice. We've actually started seeing our first red gojis. I see some there. So I'll be starting to harvest these probably, I think next weekend. There may be enough to actually dig in there and start pulling off. But you can see that there's just, you know, tons of clusters starting to form all through in there. The mint has come back nicely. So we're probably gonna start taking off the tops of these, taking the whole thing, cut these off down low, and then take that whole thing and stick it in our dehydrator. There's some more gojis. Very high in antioxidants. Sunflowers are getting pretty tall up here. There's a nice head formed on this one. These are the these are the autumn beauty sunflowers, so they don't usually bloom until I think September in our region, at least. And then those are the lemon queen sunflowers up there. They're all blooming. Look really nice as a backdrop sitting on our deck on the weekend. Our family comments that this very productive looking yard we have. <laughs> productive. I wonder if that's another word for saying uh, your permaculture yard looks messy. <laughs> well, I figure I'm doing something good for the environment. It's doing something good for me, so. And then you can see the, the Scarlet Runner beans are in full bloom now. They're starting to vine over, giving us that nice backdrop look. Kind of stand back here and you guys can get a little bit of a view to see. You don't, you don't see that wooden fence like you do down here still. So you got that nice backdrop there of vining growth with the flowers on it. Looks like we got some more tomatoes down there that I need to get today. I'll probably get those back when I get back from this work today. 
These are the uh, pink boar tomatoes, and these are really good. Look at that, we got we got probably a dozen tomatoes that I'll be able to harvest off. You know, one up there, two there, another two there. These are really good for tacos. Oh my gosh, the flavor these things have. Another couple down there. These things are great. I figure the soil along here is pretty, pretty harsh because this has been a trail for our dogs to run down all these years. And I've never planted anything here, so you know, I figure putting the beans in here and the cucumbers, getting that root mass in here along this fence is going to help. And plus, I don't have a raised box here like I do there, so I can put the really good soil in it. So I'm just going to do the soil remediation right here along the fence. And hopefully maybe next year, as this apple tree gets bigger and starts to create more shade along that fence, it'll help with that hot summer sun that really beats down on here. Because, I mean, you can see there's a lot of sun scald, especially down here in this lower part. You can see there's some on those leaves. You know, like along here, you can see those tips are just really burned. And along this whole thing here, but we've had some pretty milder weather because of the... Uh, hazy smoke from the forest fires. I don't want to get started on that. The improper management of forests around here in the state of Oregon, but you can see that uh, that haze has caused a little bit of the sun scald to abate. And let's see, we got the uh, squash over here. This is our... It's turn, starting to turn nice yellow, so they're going to be ready to harvest in a, probably another week. Especially that big one back there. We're going to use that spaghetti squash for our lasagna replacement meals, which are really good. That just drive my son crazy because he loves lasagna, but we take out the noodles and we put the spaghetti squash in there as the replacement for the noodles. So it's kind of a little trick. <laughs> We've been doing that ever since he was a kid because he would never know what, what kind of lasagna he's going to get because he never saw mom make it. But uh, one of our little family jokes. <laughs> Here's some more of those Lemon Queen sunflowers. Here's our uh, brown turkey fig. It's really taken off this year. I'm sure hoping that uh, I'm going to be able to take this guy with us you know, before we move or when we move to our homestead. as one of the trees that will go with us along with this apple here. This is a Liberty apple that I grafted last year. It's put on a lot of growth. I mean, you can see that it's from the graft down there. We put on two new shoots coming up here. So one of those I'll eventually pick to probably be the leader. I'll probably take this one because it's a little more straight and centered. But I'll leave all those on there for this year. I'll probably cut it this winter. You can see we got more yellow squash coming on. A lot more down in here. As we're heading into fall, we're starting to really get that push for the squash. I and mean, Paul and I have been eating a lot of zoodles. That's really good. I'm going to duck down here and show you the tomatoes that are on this cluster. There's quite a few that need to be harvested here. And Paul has been having the dehydrator running 24-7 now. So we're taking these and you take these here and you split them in half, put them on the dehydrator, and they you know, suck down. And she's been putting them in her quart jars. We save those for winter time, so we put that in like omelets, uh, some of the soups she makes. A lot of that stuff so it's really good that's one thing I really like having that a lot of you guys may want to get as a dehydrator because you can save a lot of your fruit that you wouldn't be able to eat normally and it would go bad by dehydrating it and saving it for winter let's see raspberries have really started to spread here which I really like they're all the way out to you know the outside now so next year this whole area is going to be filled with raspberries and then these ones that are coming out from the sides, these little side shoot ones, I dig those up in the winter and I transplant them to other areas. Let's see, how's our arch doing? You can see the tomatoes are coming up over the arch. Got a lot of tomatoes here. Looks like there's some more pink boar there. They're going to be ready to harvest in another day or so. You can see some of our fall beans are starting to come up. Been getting a lot of blueberries. 
harvested off those this weekend. Got another tort bag. What else have we got? Got a bunch of eggplants that are getting ready to need to harvest. Got that one there. There's a really good size one down here. So we'll be taking that one this weekend and making some more baba ganoush. Along with our flat naan bread that Paula makes. It's one of the things that we love about having this uh, little homestead here is it allows Paula to really express her creativity in the kitchen and you know make some really great meals. And I really appreciate that about my wife. It's her uh, willingness to go along with all my craziness in gardening. But she gets the benefit of having all this fresh food to use to create her wonderful meals. There's some more patty pans down there. It looks like they're getting ready to get some good size. There's some more here. Plenty of squash are just really taking off. You can see there's our cabbage, our winter cabbage back there. And we got some more bean starts here. These starts really seem to be taking off over here. So these are all our fall beans. These are all the Monte Cristo beans. They're a pole bean. And then we got some over here along this trellis. Some more sun. These are more of those uh, autumn beauty sunflowers. So that's going to be a nice focal point for this winter. Or not winter, I <laughs> think this fall. Because you know when they all start putting their heads on, there'll be a nice little cluster there. There's a couple back there that have made it in that box. Oh, what else have we got to go see? What else do you guys want to see? See, we'll go down to the apple tree here. This gala apple, I think we're going to harvest that this weekend. Because they're all starting to turn that nice yellow. They haven't got it to where, you know, when you can do the lift and the lift up to see if they start to break loose. But there's a lot of good size, nice apples on this tree this year. They're still a little green, but, you know, I think we're going to wait a week, maybe two, before we pick them. And then Paula's going to use these to make some, uh, some applesauce. And then we got our sunflowers down here on the backside. And then our grapes have done really well this year, growing up and trellising across. So I'm really happy about that. So next year we should have some grapes. And of course last, we got our plant propagation bed. I think this weekend I'm going to dig these up and start potting some of those up into uh, my little five inch pots. All right, well that's kind of the update for the yard. I'll talk to you guys again this weekend with some more updates. All right, bye guys.